So let's talk about how you're going to find information about neutral atoms. When doing this, you're going to want to have a periodic table in front of you. Now, whether you have one in your book or your planner or you have one that you're looking at from online, either way, doesn't matter to me. So you need to have this with you while we're doing this together so you can refer to it. So the first one that we had to do was helium. And if you look on the periodic table, helium is found in the upper right-hand area, HE. As an atomic number of two, symbol is HE. The element name is helium, and the atomic mass is 4.002. When we go back to our worksheet, we know that the symbol is HE. It has atomic number. Let's put this here for us to kind of keep our, to go keep going back and forth. The atomic number was 2, and the atomic mass was 4.002. So how many protons do we have? The number of protons, uh, the atomic number tells you how many protons are in that element's atom. If you can look up here at your reminders, it's going to tell you how to find everything. So in order to find my number of protons, i got to look at my atomic number, which is up here. Okay, and my atomic number is 2, so I have 2 protons. Protons equals the number of electrons, so I also have 2 electrons. My number of neutrons is found by, and if you read this right here, atomic mass minus the atomic number gives you the number of neutrons. My mass is 4, rounded to the nearest whole number. Minus 2, because that's how many protons I have, or the atomic number, equals 2. Let's do another one. Argon. If you look at your periodic table, it has an atomic number of 18. Its atomic mass, rounded to the nearest whole number, is going to be 40. The symbol is AR. I Number of protons equals my atomic number, so I have 18. My protons and electrons will equal each other. My number of neutrons is found by taking the mass minus the atomic number, or the number of protons, equals, in this case, it's going to be 22. Bromine is Br. If you look it up on the periodic table, it has an atomic number of 35. It has an atomic mass of 80 when it's rounded to the nearest whole number. So I know it has 35 protons because its atomic number is 35. I know it has 35 electrons because my number of protons equals my number of electrons. How do I find number of neutrons? Atomic mass minus the atomic number equals the number of neutrons. Let's do one more together. Selenium. The number of protons is found by looking at the atomic number. In this case, the atomic number is 34. My atomic mass in this case is 79, rounded to the nearest whole number. The number of protons is found by looking at my atomic number, which is 34. Protons equals the number of electrons. I take my atomic mass, subtract my number of protons, or my atomic number. In this case, we have 39 neutrons. That's how you find out your information of your neutral atoms using your periodic table.